Hello and welcome to episode number eight. She thought she could, so she did podcast. Today's episode is brought to you by And Then Coffee, 14 Days of Intentional Inspiration. This ebook or imprint is developed to help you align yourself with yourself. It has quotations and questions and annotations that will make you think about how you operate and how the things that you do hinder or help what it is that you aspire to do. So the link is in the show notes. Head on over, pre-order your copy because it is dropping on March the 1st and we will be on a 14-day journey to intentional inspiration. All right, so let's get to it better is inside you what in the world do you mean to have what are you talking about little tiny girl better is inside me so a lot of times we'll say i'll be better when or i would be better if um let's just say i'll be better when i get a million dollars i'll be better when my account is sitting pretty um i'll be better when i have a significant other uh i'll be better when i get a different job no no, 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 no. All those things are just additions. Um, they're great things. Um, whether they're financial, materialistic, or you know, life based, such as jobs and things like that, um, or significant others. But better is inside you. You can make you better. You are carefully equipped with everything you need inside of you already. And so maybe you need to shift your mindset. Maybe you need to shift your way of thinking. Maybe you need to shift your circle. But better is already there. Better is waiting on you to get there. Um, it is not something that you get once X happens or once you acquire X. It is something that happens once you tap into X. You have to be carefully aligned with yourself and just aware of what makes you happy to really be better. Because honestly, let's just say it's a dollar amount and you get that hundred thousand dollars tomorrow, you get that million dollars tomorrow. That's great. You have it and you may be able to go buy some things or go on some trips, whatever it is you desire, pay off some bills, whatever it is you desire. But better is within you. And so honestly, after all those things are said and done, you have the money, but are you really better? Let's just say it's a significant other. I'll be better once I have bae. As soon as I get bae, I'm going to be better. But what if you're not ready for bae? What if you, if you're not better for you, then you can't be better for bae. And so you may get that significant other and ruin it because you weren't happy with yourself. Are you confident enough in yourself to intermingle and um, be able to coincide, like live life with another person? Is that even attainable right now? If you are thinking that that's what's going to complete you, are you already whole and complete with yourself? Mm, That's a question. That's a question. We might have a word. So um, better is within you and knowing that better is within you just makes things not necessarily easier but better because (laughs) you realize that intrinsically you are happy you are whole and you are complete even when things are crazy chaotic hectic whatever you are whole and you are complete and you're able to show up for the world and that's something that Um, It comes with time and it comes with careful um, integration of self to self. And I tell anyone, like, I've dated myself so long that I know what I want Um, because that's the truth. Um, In being alone and being able to really see, you know, what I like about myself, what I don't like about myself, what I need, what I don't need, what I am willing to adjust and what is non-negotiable. What am I going to put up with and what am I absolutely not going to put up with? So, I believe that not only in my um, intimate relationships, but in my friendships as well. And in my um, even professional dealings, there are certain times you have to choose your clients. And if you don't feel that, you know, that person, you can work with them where you'll be able to make them better. If there's someone who finds a problem for every solution, then maybe they're not for you. Like maybe that's not your client. And so you keep, you know, you keep moving. Sorry, I can't serve you. Um, And when you think about 
uh, friendships, you have to be intentional with who you're allowing into your space. I talk about it all the time. Protect that peace, peace and protection. Be intentional because people can drag you down. You are the sum of the five people that you spend the most time with. And so if those five people aren't summing up to much, neither are you. And so you really have to be intentional and in realizing that better is within you. You are already equipped with all the things you need to not only survive but to thrive you have talents and you have gifts and you have things that are special to you and so stop the comparison because comparing kills comparing kills comparing kills it kills dreams it kills drive it kills motivation because if you're looking um at others to figure out how you should be you are spending too much time on them and they're them and you're you and so realizing that you are okay as you you don't have to try to be like anyone else because better is inside of you you just have to tap into it and tapping into it isn't easy tapping into it isn't quick there's not no snap 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 process of tapping into the whole you but it is a process and if you carefully curate your um, schedule your life, your mm, preferences, you will begin to realize what it is that you like, what it is that you don't like, what it is that you want to do, what it is that you absolutely don't want to do, and you'll be able to holistically feel life and feel better and be okay with your now. And so, I challenge you to write down a list, get out a piece of paper or grab your notes if you're very uh, savvy, Um, head over to your notepad and just write down five things that just make you happy. Five things, five things that make you so happy that you're just happy. Maybe that's nature. Maybe that's traveling. Maybe that's financial freedom. Maybe that's um, professional wellness, as in you are in a professional environment that you thrive in and makes you really happy. Um, Maybe that's uh, friendship circles. Maybe that's gummy bears, whatever it is. Write down five things that make you happy make you happy and the second step of this realizing better is within you write down five things that you don't like five things that you don't like as in relates to either people places or things so five things you don't like doing or you don't like when people do it to you or you just don't like um and after you have these two lists look at them and then assess your life assess your life are you tolerating things that you dislike and discrediting things that make you happy are you filling your life with things that make you genuinely happy are you doing things especially in your spare time because spare time spare time is crucial there is not a lot of things that we can control in our lives because you know we have to live and we have to pay bills and we have to either go to work or run a business or do something to um, bring in income And we have family that we can't pick and stuff like that. Certain stuff like you just have no authority over. But that small percentage of me time and the people that you spend your me time with, you have control over that. And so you have to be careful with that control because honestly, it's one of the only controls that you ultimately have um, in life. And so being very careful with that is important. So as you're looking over your list, Analyze your life and think about what it is that you're sacrificing that doesn't align with you and eliminate it. Eliminate it and eliminate it soon. Don't allow things or people, if you have the option to, don't allow them to hinder you. Don't allow them to bring you down. Don't allow them to um, bitter your better. Don't allow them to bitter your better. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Don't allow people, places, or things to bitter your better. And some things that make you unhappy, you may not be able to change overnight. For example, if it's your work environment, I'm not telling you to go and quit tomorrow if you can't do that. But I am also challenging you to get out of that toxic environment if you can. But if you can't, change your mindset. 
um, change your mindset to know that this isn't your forever. This is your now and that you don't have to be in such a toxic environment and that you don't have to be a toxic person because you are in that toxic environment. You can be the ray of sunshine. You can be the better. You can choose your attitude. Um, You can be the light in that darkness. And so um, keep looking at your list and keep analyzing your life because better is within you. You just have to really, really, really focus in on what better looks like for you and eliminating things that you think make life better that really don't. Um, Because a lot of money or a lot of nice things or you know all of those materialistic type things they don't make the world go round like they just don't think about the fact that think about you being a millionaire and your whole family being sweeped off the earth you have a whole lot of money but you can't go buy another family think about you being a millionaire and you losing your mind like your your mental health goes haywire. So you don't you're not you're not even in the world. So you don't even know what's going on, but you you have that million that you were chasing. So I make those two examples to say better is within you. And once you realize that, then yes, you can have all the materialistic and all the money and all those things and be okay. But if you don't realize that better is within you, having all those things won't make you better. All right. I'm telling you. And so I want you to look at your list, your five things that really make you happy, just drive you, and the five things that just ugh, make you want to just roll your eyes and stomp your feet and be like, ugh, whatever. Um, yeah, yeah. So think about that and prepare yourself. I want you to, I really, really, really want you to head over to the site and get 14 days of intentional inspiration because the way these um the ways are curated just for you you will be able to um hmm, how do i put it you will be able to see yourself in a different light see yourself in a different light and see how um, the things we do in our daily practice and the people that we surround ourselves with and the mindset that we have every morning when we wake up, how these things can affect us. And so if we're in a negative space and we are thinking negative and doing negative, it is going to continue. It is going to transcend into our daily life and our daily practice. And so when you build better, you think better, you do better, your mind is just all around better. So I'm ready for March and I'm ready to dive into this read with you. I am ready to dive into this process with you. It's just so exciting, so exciting, so exciting. Another thing I'm ready for is interviews are starting. So our next interview will air on March the 1st, I think. It's either the 1st or the 2nd. Um, our first interview is going to air. I'm so excited to bring some awesome folks onto the podcast. Bring them on and get them talking about the topics that you say you want to hear. So we are about to dive into a different a different dynamic. So episode number 10, because we have the mini sold for nine, and episode number 10 is going to dive into it. We're going to have some great guests. I'm not going to do a spoiler. Um, I'm going to keep it safe and not say anything yet, but we got four weeks of great interviews for you. Okay. So tune in and realize and remember that better is already within you. Okay. It's already within you already within you thank you for tuning in more information about tiny tab visit www.tabithadjames.com or find me on social media i'm all over the place grinding and serving the people better is within you until next time have an awesome one